What's up guys? Linktree versus Lincoln Bio. Here it is. On the left, this is what you can build with Linktree. Notice these links. One goes to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, LinkedIn, okay? That's what you do. You set up a link with Linktree and then you can create multiple links on your page and that's it. You get assigned a link or a URL at the top, as you can see. And that's what you, you can do. You can put in your profile image, you're assigned a name. So that could be your Instagram username or what have you. And then these are the links that you can add and you can change the background color. So that's what it looks like. Now here's a link in bio. Some of you may prefer the left side, some may prefer the right side. Here's uh, using the basic features on link in bio. Of course, you've got the profile image, you have a name. This has a verified check mark next to it, so it gives you a little bit more credibility. And then here are your links. So that these links were added to copy uh, Linktree, right? I wanted to show you what is similar. So now let me show you what's really possible with Link in Bio with the free version. Okay, so with the Link in Bio free version, I've created this page and I did it a little different. So with the link in bio, of course you can add your link, which I kept the same. You can also embed a YouTube video. So you can, you know, connect your users to your YouTube. And then all of your social media becomes links at the bottom. Instead of links like this, you know, your Instagram, your Facebook, your Twitter, down here, here's your Instagram, here's your Twitter, here's your Facebook, here's your YouTube channel, your LinkedIn, and then your TikTok. So, you know, it's a decision you have to make. Do you like the left? Do you like the right? And those are the options uh, that are possible. I can dig in more if you want to look at the editors. It's equally the same. But at the end of the day, what do you like better? What is your preference? And that's, that's what's possible. So if you want to keep watching, I'm going to jump into the editor right now, and I'm going to show you how you can build this page on the right. And we'll get into it right about now. All right, guys. So here we are in the Leak Tree Editor. Now, at the top, you have your options. You have links, appearance, and your settings. And then this is, this is um, the editor for the free version. Basically, what you can do is add any amount of links that you want, right? See here at the top, add new link. So with that, you could just continue to add links. Here you go, pops up a little editor. Choose your title. We'll just call it title. Add your link, whatever you want. Put in Google, okay? And that's it. So now we've added a new link and it shows up in your um, the preview on the right. So now if you want to go to appearance, these are pro themes. And then if you want to change the color, you can see how that works, right? And that is the basic functionality of Linktree. Pretty simple, very easy. If you want to add multiple links, that's what you get, okay? Now let's switch over to link in bio and see what's possible. So I'm going to log in. Let's take a look at the account. I'm actually already logged in. Let's scroll down and I will show you the editor here. You can create a whole project. So I've created a project here. Now this editor is slightly different, but it gives you a little more functionality. So as you can see, you do get a preview on the right. You can change out your profile image. As you see, it has a title or an H1 tag. So if you know anything about SEO, this is great. So you create a title tag. Now you can rank in Google. You can also add a description, which we have right here. So that shows up in your editor or your preview area on the right. And then you can change your backgrounds, right? So if we want a different colors, very similar to Linktree. But one new option that you also have is you can actually do custom gradient or a custom color. So if you have a specific color that matches your brand, you could do that. Or you can use a background image. So this is all default by free. And then if you go down to the bottom, we have a lot more options. You have analytics. Um, there's some SEO parameters. And then more importantly, here's your socials. So that's what gives you these buttons on the far right. You can add your email. You can add your WhatsApp, your Facebook, your Messenger, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. You can see where I'm going with this, right? SoundCloud, LinkedIn, Spotify, Pinterest. All for free. So these are all available in the free version of LinkedIn Bio. So now let's go over to links. 
And here you can add different links. So if you wanted to add just a link, which we've already done, and you can see that on the right, if you want to add text, so if you want to add text between links, you can do that. I'll show you. So you can add a new title or a description. So it's a, basically a new block. You can also embed a SoundCloud um, track. You can embed a YouTube video. You can embed Twitch, Vimeo, Spotify, a TikTok video. And if you use MailChimp, you can collect emails. So these are all of the features that are available with link in bio. So it's up to you. It depends on what you like and what your preferences are. But those are the differences, and that's something you have to decide for yourself. All of the links are in the description below. Take a look, and you choose wisely. We'll see you guys on the other side. Oh, one last thing. Check this out. When you create a link, okay, when you create your link, you can choose multiple domains. Do you see that? So look, you can have a link in bio, you can have my gram link, my TikTok link, shop my link, personal bio, corporate bio, my fitness link, my travel link, my fashion link, my business, my Twitch, my Pinterest, my vape, and so on and so forth. So you're not just tied to one domain for your URL, which is what how Linktree is. So every link on Linktree will be their domain name slash your name. Whereas with link in bio, you can choose a domain name that matches the what, what, where you want to send your users, right? So anyways, take a look. All the links are in the description. And let us know in the comments what you think is better and which works for you. Because, you know, Linktree might just work for you. It's totally great. So see you guys later.